We're continuing on Shulchan Aruch or Achayim, Achot Shabbat, and we are starting Siman Er Resh Ayin, the halachot of saying the Mishnah of Bamimat Likin on Erev Shabbat. The Shulchan Aruch writes, Noagim Lumar Perik Bamimat Likin, the Minhag is to say the second Perik of Masechet Shabbat, Mishnayot, the Perik Bamimat Likin, on Erev Shabbat as part of the process of Tfilah, the Hasfaradim Omrim Oto Kodem Tfilat Arvit, the Huanachon, says the Shukha Aruch, the Sfaradim who say this before Arvit is the correct Minhag, and the, the reason for this is because this Perek of Mishnayot contains in it the Halachot of Hadlakat Nerot and what types of fuel and wicks could be used and what types cannot be used. And therefore, you say it before Shabbat starts. Also, in it, it has the three items that the person has to say. Shloshat varim serech adam lomar betoch beto erev Shabbat, im chashecha, isarten, eraften, those are two question forms. And then hadliku etaner is another question. Is the, you're telling them gently, you know, do not forget to, um, light the nerot, and th that's why you need to say this as a reminder for everyone um, to, to remember to do. And hence, the second part of Shukharuch, that this should be said really before Arvit. Because they, they were doing Arvit earlier. When you're reading this perek of Madikin, that you're reading it before Arvit, you remember those three things and say, oh, I forgot to tell my wife to light the Nerot, or I forgot to ask if they did the Maserot, right? Or to do the Eruv, Eruv Echatzerot. So therefore, you, you still have time to go back and, and do that. Now, hence also, the, the Chiduke Minagim, I went to say by Memadikin, some people, even, even though that you're saying it before Arvit, if you already have accepted Shabbat upon yourself with um, either Mizmor Shiri of Shabbat or those who do it by Lechadodi, by Boi Kala, Boi Kala Shabbat Maketa, so saying Bamem Adikin after that would also be a question. And again, the, our Minhag certainly was to say it after the um, number of Mizmorim that we have in Kabbalah Shabbat, the Chun and Anana, and so on, then you have Baba Madikin before doing Mizmor Le David and Le Chadodi, and that would be um, obviously, according to everyone, uh, the, the better way, given this parameter that the Mishnah Buras is um, over here, as giving chance and time for people to be able to um, do it after, you know, do, go home and, and remind their wives um, of these items. Now, a person, let's imagine someone uh, finishes Mishnayot every month, 18 prakim a day, Maran Shukharuch used to do Mishnayot all the time. So you have a Tamil Chacham Muflag, like Maran Shukharuch, does he have to also say Bamem Badikin? He knows it already, right? You don't have to remind him. Um, in any way. So the Mekor Chaim writes that doesn't make a difference. Everyone has to say it. It's a Takana. You say it with the Sibur together because if you don't say it in the Bet Knesset, other people are going to learn. And then before, before long, the whole Minhag is going to be nullified and, and fall on its face. And therefore, um, even in Tamil Hamu Vlag, he has to say it with the, with the Sibur in the Bet Knesset. Now, the Shukha Aruch writes, that this is Nachon because of this reason. After Arvid, after you accepted Shabbat already, what exactly is it going to help? But if, if you are saying it after Arvid, in the Minagem Marag writes, This still gives a person. Um, enough time that if you're late for Arvid, uh, as they saying saying at the end of Tefillat Arvid, you are, must speak, you have enough time 
to catch on with them, and then you can, um, you know, e exit the Bet Knesset together. That's why Shabbat Cholamuet, you don't say it. Because everyone is Cholamuet, Cholamuet is Asur Bemelacha, unless it's Melechet, um, the exceptions to the rule. And therefore, people are ready. They are, uh, they have time to prepare for Shabbat on time, and they're never late to Bet Knesset, so therefore we don't say it. Now the Bach writes that you have to say Bamadikin also after Kiddush. It's a very interesting Bach, right? As you say, where does that come from? Why, why would you say Bamadikin after Kiddush? So he says because you Ayule Yoma Adif. You want to first say um, Kiddush to announce it Shabbat. And only then uh, talk about a Mishnayot that talks about Shabbat. And therefore, um, that's Minhag of, of the Bach. But the Chafetz Chaim writes that the Minhag by them in, in his time is Lomar Ba Madikin Kodem, to say it beforehand. And the Prisha explains that Ner Beto Bekidushayom, Ner Beto Adif. He explains that even according to the Bach, the um, ner beto to make sure that your wife lights nerot hadikot aner is more important than even saying kiddush, and therefore um, you should do it beforehand. Fine, <coughs> says the Shulchan Aruch. Yes, shen omri moto be yom tov shechal liot be'erev Shabbat. If you have yom tov that falls to be an erev Shabbat. So you are going into Shabbat from Yom Tov, which is what we just had and what we're going to have in the next two Yamim Tovim upcoming. We don't say it says the Shulchan Aruch. Why not? Because the reasons that we just mentioned right now don't apply to it. There are those who don't say it on Shabbat Chanukah either. Now, the Shukharuch explains this before we discuss the Ramah, who argues in the last element here. The reason for it is, you can't do Masarot Yom Tov. So you can't say Isartin, Raftin, all that it's been done before. And therefore, Yom Tov Shechal Yod B'Shabbat, also, um, you, you don't do it because of Lopduk. You just don't do it that way. And Hanukkah, the reason is because you have all these Shmanim that are Pasul, that are Pasul on, Hanukkah, on Shabbat only, but not on Hanukkah. Why? Because there are a lot of the wicks, the Ptilot, are Pasul on Shabbat because they will flicker. And if they flicker, you may be concerned and come to uh, fix the ptila or tilt the, um, the lamp, and it will become a problem. On Hanukkah, it's no problem. So you'll tilt it. So you'll fix it. What's the big deal? This is not Shabbat. Not Yisur Melacha. So therefore, uh, we don't say those things not to be confusing the Shabbat and the Hanukkah. Fine, says the Ramah. Ramah says, no, we are mahmir on Hanukkah. And on Shabbat, we Shabbat. says, the, the minhag is like Shukha Aruch, that Shabbat Chol HaMoed, we don't say it. And Shabbat, that, that coincides with Yom Tov, also we don't say it. It will both be the same, uh, the same thing. So, as far as the, the technical halakha says the Shukha Aruch, if Shabbat falls to be right after Yom Tov, or Shabbat and Yom Tov coincide, then you don't say Bameh Madikin, for the reason we just mentioned. And Shukha Aruch also says that on Shabbat Hanukkah, you don't say it. Now, the Ramah disagrees with that, but nevertheless, the Minhag is 
of course, like on the Shukha Aruch, that on Shabbat Hanukkah, also we do not say the Perak of Babi Matikin, that certainly stays the Minhag um, based on the Shukha Aruch. Now, next Siman is going to be um, a fascinating topic of Kiddush Alayayin, which is one of the m- more important and very practical simanim of Shukha Aruch, which Be'ezat Hashem, we will continue um, in the days to come. Hazak Baruch.